Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. Now, there is one thing I forgot to um, explain in the last video, but in each world there are three locales that you will find in every world. Uh, one of them is Funky's Flights. This is Funky Kong, and in every world he gives us the opportunity to ride one of his uh, barrel planes. If you jump into a barrel plane, you can actually go back to the world map and go back to any worlds you've been to already. However, since we have only unlocked one world, we can only go back to this world. So it's not much help yet, but in the future worlds, it's a very helpful mechanic. Um, there's also Cranky's Cabin, which I forgot to go to last video. Uh, there's nothing really of note here in Cranky's Cabin. He kind of just uh, taunts you for a few minutes. So there's nothing really of note here, but sometimes he actually mentions a few things. Sometimes he'll talk about different animal buddies. Uh, he might, I think he sometimes gives you a hint to uh, bonuses you might have missed. So it wouldn't be a totally bad idea to talk to him every now and then. Although for the most part, it's completely optional. So let's just stop talking to him. Okay, okay, yeah, there we go. And let's actually get started, or let's continue with where we were last time. We're actually almost done with this world already. We only have one more level in the boss, so... Okay, here we have Barrel Canyon... Uh, no, Barrel Cannon Canyon, I'm sorry. Uh, there is actually a shortcut up here, but I'll show that later because... Uh, if you take the shortcut, I believe you have to skip one of the bonus levels. Um, I don't know that for sure. I think you can actually kind of trick it out a little bit and still make it in there, but I'm going to go the long route just to, you know, show off everything else. So I am going to skip that for now, but I will show off that shortcut after I finish this level. Uh, usually if there's a significant shortcut that I think is actually really cool or that I should show you, especially if you're having trouble with a level... I'll show it, but um, I won't do that for, like, every single shortcut. That'll just take up way too much time. Anyways, um, there are a few things I actually forgot to discuss in the last video, but before we do that, I got my third Rambi token, so we're going to play a Rambi minigame. As I said before, these minigames revolve around collecting these... They're not really bananas in this bonus game, but they act like bananas. If you get a hundred of them... Well, actually, not even if you get a hundred of them. Uh, basically, it calculates how many of these tokens... <clears throat> uh, sorry about it. It calculates how many of these things you get at the very end of the bonus game. And I was going to show off a secret, but I don't have enough time to show it now. So I'll show that later on. But basically, you collect all these things at the very end. Depending on how many you got, it will calculate and give you some extra lives. So that's always cool. I was going to show you a secret, but I forgot how to get it for a second, so I ended up missing it. <clears throat> and what is wrong with my throat right now? Mm. I'm not sick or anything, it's just all of a sudden, during the recording, it just got all stuffed up for some reason. Oh well, my throat likes to do that to me a lot, so I'm not surprised. But uh, one thing I forgot to discuss in the last video was that um, I didn't really talk about the characters. Uh, as you know, we have Donkey Kong, and then we also have his little partner, Diddy Kong. Uh, there really isn't that much of an advantage to using either or in this game. In the third, in the second and third game, the different partners actually you know, have more distinct uses, but in this game, they act pretty much the same. Uh, DK's a little more powerful than Diddy Kong, so we can kill some enemies that Diddy can't, but if I remember correctly, Diddy Kong is actually more agile, so he can actually uh, do a longer cartwheel or a longer roll attack, so um, they do have their distinct uses, but um, in the end, it really doesn't matter who you use. If you get to an enemy that uh, Diddy probably can't destroy, you can just switch over to Donkey Kong and then, you know, use him instead. Anyways, I forgot about this bonus area over here, so we're going to do that very quickly. 
If you do this just right, you can actually land back into the barrel and then get a second item. Like I did right there. So I might actually do the in guard stage very soon. Depends on how many levels I get to cover in this video. This is actually a pretty long level, and probably the most difficult level in this world, so just be very careful, and I missed the K. Oh well, I think I showed it earlier on. It's just I didn't get it when I had to start from the beginning after the Rambi minigame. Okay. Be careful, watch out for the bees. The bees will hurt you if you hit them. I believe the bees are the only enemy in the game you can't kill with a jump attack. I could be wrong, obviously the aquatic enemies, you can't kill them with jump attacks. But like, I mean, I don't know. You can't defeat it with standard attacks. You either have to defeat it with a barrel, and I think Rambi can also destroy him as well, so just watch out for that. Get up here and you can get some items. The G, for one, it doesn't really do me any good because I forgot the K. Here we have Candy's save point. This is the third general locale in every world. All you do is jump into this barrel and you can actually save your game. We are 14% done with this game. But let's ignore that for right now. We're going to go on to the next level, or actually the boss level of the world, Very Naughty's Lair. Very Naughty is a very easy boss. All you do is jump on him uh, five or six times. He gets progressively faster each time you jump on him, but he's nothing you shouldn't be able to handle. And look, he's already dead. Boom. That's something else that DK can do. He can actually slam the ground. I don't think Diddy can do that. And there we go. Congo Jungle is completed. And if you couldn't tell, unlike the uh, future games of the series, when you get 100% in the world, it doesn't show the exclamation point next to the world. So, um, I did get 100% on everything, so, uh, it's not like the game's lying to me or anything. Anyways, we're off to World 2, the Monkey Mines. The first level is Winky's Walkway. This level, um, I don't really remember that much about it. It's kind of a, I wouldn't say an obscure level, but it's a very unmemorable level at least. Here you get a new animal buddy. This is Winky the Frog. Winky is not a very good partner. He has a very big jump. He can generally land on most enemies, but... I don't know, he's very vulnerable. You'll find yourself getting hit. Well, not so much hit, but... You'll find yourself losing Winky if you get hit a lot. And he's kind of annoying to catch if you lose him, so... If you need him for a bonus barrel, or to an unreachable bonus barrel, make sure you... Be very careful with him that you don't lose him. And here we have the, um, this is actually the espresso stage. Uh, we won't actually get to use espresso in a, until World 3. So this is actually the first time we'll get to use espresso. Espresso is an ostrich that can actually fly for a short period of time. But espresso can't do anything besides that. If you hit an enemy with espresso, um... I don't want to say you're screwed, but um, Espresso can't kill any enemies, basically, so not even by jumping, so Espresso's not used to fight. Espresso's used to mostly just fly and reach uh, unreachable areas. But anyways, the reason why I flew over the wall and got that giant Espresso token was in each of these bonus stages, you'll find one of those giant tokens, and when you get them, the, uh, the little... Um, I don't really know what you would call them, but the little figures, I guess. Uh, all of those are worth two times as many uh, tokens as the other ones, so you can generally get more lives 
in one of these stages if you try to go for those. So just look out for those, make sure you get them. And you can get a lot of extra lives. Okay, I have to make my way back to where I was because uh, doing that stage took me back to the midway point. And see, look, the level's pretty much over already. Not a very long level at all. And I don't know if I have enough time for this. I really don't think I do. So I'm actually going to stop the video here. Uh, this is Slim Kirby. See you guys next time for more Let's Play Donkey Kong Country, where we ta tackle Minecart Carnage. See you guys next time.